If you are working on any vast data and using VLOOKUP, you must be facing lots of challenges. In today's video, we will see how we can use VLOOKUP on large data. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Champ. Let's start the video without any delays. For better understanding, we will start with small data. Over here, I have got my data. And in my data, I have got employee ID, name, blood group, designation, phone number, region, target achieved, yes or no. And I want to apply my VLOOKUP in a new sheet. So I'll insert a new sheet. Let's go back to our data. In VLOOKUP, we have got three things. The very first is lookup value. Second is lookup array or lookup array. And the third is column index number. Now let's understand what is lookup value. Lookup value is a data which should be common in both the sheets. In our case, employee ID will be our lookup value. I'll copy all the employee IDs from here, Control C or Command C, and we'll go to my new sheet and we'll paste over here, Control V or Command V. So this became my lookup value. So in both the sheets, employee ID is same, but it's not necessary that employee ID should be in a sequence. In our data, employee ID is from 101 till 120. I'll go to my new sheet and over here I'll do employee 120. This will be employee 119. I'll select both and we'll drag it down. So my sequence got changed. Let's go to our data. So lookup value is clear. Now let's understand what is lookup array or lookup array. Our whole data is known as lookup array or lookup array. So in our case, our lookup array is the whole data. And the third is column index number. In Excel, our column is starting from A. So this is column number one. This is column two. If I select both and we'll drag this to right, name is in column three as per Excel, blood group is in column number four as per Excel and so on. But whenever we are applying VLOOKUP, our selection of VLOOKUP will start from employee ID. So employee ID will be my column index number one. This will be column index number two. I'll delete one from here. We'll select both and we'll drag this to right. So the column of lookup value will be always our column index number one. Now let's apply our VLOOKUP. I have already copied my employee ID. So now I'll copy all the heads, means I'll copy rest of the heads. Control C or Command C. We'll go to my new sheet or blank sheet and we'll paste all the heads over here. We'll adjust the column size. We'll take column A closer. We'll increase size of column C because we have got our names over here. We'll insert borders. We'll go to view and we'll remove the grid lines. After removing grid lines, our format is looking cleaner. Now let's apply our VLOOKUP. Plus or equal to VLOOKUP. Bracket open, lookup value. Employee ID will be our lookup value, comma, table array. And lookup array and table array are same things, means our data. So I'll select my whole data. We can select our range or we can select our data from top. Once the data will be selected, you'll have to press F4 or function F4 to lock the range. So I have locked my range, comma, column index number. Selection of VLOOKUP started from employee ID. So employee ID will be column index number one and name will be column index number two. So I'll put two over here, comma. As soon as I inserted comma, I got two options. True for approximate match and false for exact match. If we want, we can type true or false or for true, we can put one and for false, we can put zero. So we will put zero over here for exact match. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And I got name of employee ID 120. Let's go to our data. Employee ID 120, Travis. Let's go to our blank sheet and we got the name of Travis. Now the question comes over here. Can we drag our data to right? As of now, we can't drag our data because as soon as I dragged my data, 
I got errors. So to drag the data, we will have to keep few things in mind. I'll undo this. We'll go to my formula bar. Or let's insert our formula once again. Plus or equal to VLOOKUP. Bracket open. Lookup value. Employee ID will be our lookup value. So my cell reference over here is B4. I'll have to insert dollar just before my cell reference. I'll insert dollar. We'll come to the end. Comma. Table array. We'll go to my data. And we'll select data from top. We'll press F4 or function F4. And my range will be logged. Comma. Column index number. Selection of VLOOKUP started from employee ID. So employee ID is column index number 1. And name is in column index number 2. So I'll put 2 over here. Comma. 0 for exact match. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. What will happen if I'll delete employee ID from here? Let's delete. I got NA error. I'll undo this. So to overcome this issue of NA error, I'll click on my formula. We'll go to formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of if error. If error, bracket open, we'll come to the end, comma, double inverted comma twice for blank. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Let's delete employee ID and we can't see any error. I'll undo this. Now, can we drag this? Let's see what result we are going to get. I have dragged my data, but in all the places I'm getting name of the employee. So why I'm getting name of the employee? Because I haven't changed my column index number. Blood group. Column index number of blood group is 3. Let's go to our blank sheet. This is column index number 1. This is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. In our data, our column index number are same. I'll come over here. So this was 2. This will be 3. This will be 4. This will be 5. This will be 6. And this will be 7. I'll align phone number in center. Now let's select all the details and drag it down. And all the data got filled very properly. Over here the data was small. So we were able to change column index numbers manually. What's if the data is really vast? Over here we had just 7 columns. But if our data is vast and we have got 50 columns, 100 columns or more than that, it's really not possible to fill up column index numbers manually. So let's see what can be done on vast data. I'll go to my vast data. This is the data where I have got lots of columns. And when we have got lots of columns, our column index number will be more. Let's insert a new sheet. Let's go to our data and copy the heads. I'll click on very first head. We'll press shift control right arrow key. We'll copy the heads, control C or command C. We'll go to the blank sheet and we'll paste over here. Control V or command V. We'll adjust the column size. We'll increase size of column C. Employee ID. We'll go to my data. We'll click on very first employee. We'll press shift control down arrow key. And we'll copy this. Control C or command C. We'll go to my blank sheet. And we'll paste all the employee IDs over here. Control V or command V. We'll take column A closer. We'll click on employee ID. We'll press shift control down arrow key right arrow key and we'll insert borders we'll go to view and we'll remove the grid lines now let's apply our vlookup over here plus or equal to vlookup bracket open lookup value employee id will be our lookup value we'll insert dollar just before the cell reference comma table array we'll go to my data and we'll select data from top. We'll lock our data by pressing F4 or function F4, comma, column index number. We'll go to left. Selection of VLOOKUP started from employee ID. So employee ID is column index number 1 and name is in column index number 2. So I'll put 2 over here, comma, 0 for exact match. We'll close the bracket. 
but before hitting enter i'll insert the criteria of if error in case you want to insert criteria of if any you can we'll go to formula bar we'll click in the very beginning of the formula and we'll type if error bracket open we'll come to the end comma double inverted comma twice for blank we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and we got the name in case you want to put some text inside double inverted commas you can i'll click just between two double inverted commas and we'll type no data enter we can see name over here let's delete employee id and we can see no data i'll undo this now if i'll drag this to right we can see name all over because we will have to change column index numbers but over here our data is vast only reason we are not going to change column index numbers manually we will use a function of columns let's understand columns first plus or equal to columns bracket open array i'll click on the heading of name we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and we got one over here and this is our column index number but we want two because our name is in column index number 2 let's delete this and insert function of columns once again plus or equal to columns bracket open this time i'll select employee id and name we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and we got two what will happen if i drag my formula we can see two all over and this is wrong this is column index number 2 this is 3 this is 4 and so on i'll delete all the formulas and will insert function or formula of column once again plus or equal to columns bracket open we'll select employee id and name i'll lock this we'll click just in front of b3 we'll select b3 and we'll press f4 or function f4 once and dollar will be inserted in the beginning as well as end now i'll come to the end we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and we got two over here let's drag this and see what result we are going to get and column numbers are getting changed i'll delete this we'll click over here we'll go to formula bar and we'll copy the formula we'll copy this without equal to control c or command c we'll press escape we'll click on the name of first employee where we have inserted the formula or function of vlookup over here our column index number is 2 i'll delete 2 from here and we'll paste the formula what we have copied right now control v or command v and i'll hit enter let's delete this let's delete 2 also so now our formula became vlookup in the beginning we have taken lookup value after that lookup array in column index numbers we have inserted the formula or function of columns after that zero for exact match and to avoid any error we had inserted the criteria of if error now let's drag this to right and see what result we are going to get perfect we'll align phone number in center we are getting the proper data let's drag this down and see what result we are going to get let's drag this to right perfect and we are getting the perfect result with columns in vlookup i'll drag this down and we'll drag this to extreme right we'll go on top we'll align the numbers in left we'll come to left hand side we'll align this in left format of date got changed i'll increase the column size we'll align this in left we'll leave it selected and we'll press shift control 3 and my date format got changed invoice number will align this in center phone number will align this in left will come to left and our data is looking proper now so in this way we lookup can be applied on vast data so we have seen how we lookup works on large data now let's see how x lookup can help us this is my data and over here i have got employee id in the center in case of vlookup it was not possible to extract data if the employee id or lookup value is in the center but in x lookup it's possible let's see how i'll click on first head we'll press shift control right arrow key we'll copy all the heads control c or command c 
will insert a new sheet and will paste all the heads over here. Control V or Command V. We'll insert one column over here. We'll cut employee ID from here. Control X or Command X and we'll paste in the very beginning. We'll delete this column. We'll adjust the column size. We'll increase size of column C. Employee ID. I'll go to my data and we'll copy all the employee IDs from here. Control C or Command C. We'll go to my blank sheet and we'll paste all the employee IDs over here. Control V or Command V. Our alignment in our data and over here is different. Only reason we can see the head of employee ID on top. Let's cut this. Control X or Command X and paste over here. Control V or Command V. Perfect. I'll take column A closer. We'll click on employee ID. We'll press Shift Control, down arrow key, right arrow key. We'll go to Home tab and we'll apply borders. We'll go to View and we'll remove the grid lines. We'll increase size of the headers. Now I'll apply my X lookup over here. Plus or equal to X lookup. Bracket open. Lookup value. Employee ID will be our lookup value. Comma. Lookup array or lookup array. I'll go to my data. So where we have to look the employee IDs? We have to look the employee IDs from here. So I'll select all the employee IDs from top to bottom. We'll press F4 or function F4 and the range will be logged. Comma. Return array. In return, what we want? In return, we want name of the employees. So I'll click on top. Means I have selected name of all the employees. We'll press F4 or function F4 and the range will be logged. Now we can close the bracket and we can hit enter. And I got name of first employee. Let's drag this down. And I got detail of all the employees. Can we drag this to right? Let's see. We got NA error. Because we haven't logged our lookup value. We'll go to formula bar. And just in the beginning of lookup value, I'll insert dollar. And we'll hit enter. Now I'll drag this to right. Why we are getting the error? Means why we are getting names all over? Because in return array, we had selected just column B. Means we have logged the column B. Can we delete dollars from here? Let's drag this. We got blood group as A positive, but designation is wrong. Because over here, our lookup value is in extreme left, but in our data, it's in center. So I'll do one thing. I'll go to my sheet. We'll select name and blood group and we'll drag it down. So these things are proper. For designation, I'll apply X lookup once again. We'll delete this plus or equal to X lookup. Bracket open. Lookup value. Employee ID is my lookup value. We'll press F4 or function F4 three times and dollar will be inserted just before cell reference. Comma. Lookup array. Where we have to look employee ID? I'll go to my data and we'll click on top of employee ID. Means I'll select my employee ID from top. We'll press F4 or function F4 and my range will be logged. Comma. Return array. In return what I want? In return I want designation. So I'll click on top of designation. This time I'm not going to lock my range. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. I got the designation. Let's drag this to right and see what result we are going to get. We got the phone number. We got the region. We got invoice. Date format got changed. I'll adjust the column size. I'll drag my data to right and we'll drag it down. We'll adjust the column sizes and we'll adjust the alignment. We'll come to left. We'll align date and invoice number in left. We'll click on top of date. We'll press shift control 3 and my date format got changed. We'll come to left and our data is ready through XLOOKUP. Now you decide what's the better option for you. VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then. Bye-bye.